All right. Hello, people. Thanks for joining us. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Warren Flax. This is my mother, Deirdre Silver, D. Silver, uh, the famous brush lady. And uh, we're here from Silver Brush Limited, as we are usually two, two times a month. Uh, some of you have been with us for a long time. Thank you. Uh, I think we started doing this in April, and uh, we appreciate it. Some of you are here for the first time. Welcome. Uh, we hope this is going to be helpful for you. The, the goal of these sessions is to teach you more about you know, using your brushes, uh, which ones to select, uh, how to take care of them, how to get them to last a really long time. Um, and usually along the way you'll pick up some tips, things you've never heard before. We, we speak to folks, we spoke to a group of about 80 folks yesterday, um, professional uh, painters who are instructors, uh, many of whom have masters in fine arts, who've been teaching thousands of students in their career. Uh, and I've been combing through the emails this morning and many of them saying they learned something yesterday they've never heard before in their lives. So uh, we're here for you to be a resource. Um, and uh, we hope this is all helpful for you. So with that, today's topic is all about watercolor. And I don't want to take any more time because uh, we've got a lot to get to. We'll try to stick to 45 minutes. Um, but we are going to give away some free brushes. So I've got two sets here that we're going to be giving away at the end of the Facebook Live. Uh, this one is from Golden Natural. Uh, and this is uh, a great set, a $42.25 value. Uh, so, of course, uh, Dee is going to teach you specifically about the Golden Natural and, and what it does and why it's so outstanding for watercolor. And then the other uh, is, a, is a silver white set, uh, and this is a $24.95 value. Of course, we're speaking about US dollars here. Uh, we know we're uh, speaking to you all around the world. Um, so please um, ask your questions in the chat box. Let us know where you're uh, viewing from. We love to see all the different countries and, and cities around the world where you're watching from. Um, and with that, I'm going to give you to the founder of Silver Brush Limited, the, over 30 years ago now, uh, Dee Silver. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for coming today. I appreciate it. So today our task is to talk about watercolor brushes. We have many, many different uh, series uh, for watercolors. Um, today it's one of the most uh, popular mediums that uh, is out there in the world. But I'm also going to do a little bit something different. I have some ink. I'm going to show you uh, the brushes that work beautifully in ink. And also I have some walnut ink. And uh, that's also becoming a very popular medium. So I thought maybe we, you know, vary it. I also have some sketch pencils that we might be able to do. And depending on your questions and what you'd like to see, you know, we, we can work on that as well. So what do I have today? I have silver white, and then I have golden natural. You see how cute my little, my little. <laughs> That's brand is. new now. That's you brand new. show off your new brush holders brush there. Hold, we were very excited holder. yesterday. Cute? Yes, I what we look. Ridiculously so, yes, he's absolutely right. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to show you uh, one of the finest uh, pure red sable series in the world. That's our Renaissance series. And I thought, you know, people are still buying pure red sable brushes. Ours are extremely reasonably priced. I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about it. Um, we have lots of other brushes to show you. And I'm going to show you on the board, you know, if you've been with me before, you've seen these two little um, charts, and I'm going to show you the difference between them also. And when we have black velvet, some black velvets today, and we have crystal, and we have our new wonderful little mops from um, our Silver Silk series, and all of these can be used, Ultra Minis too, uh, all of these can be used in watercolors. I want to interrupt you for just a second sure. uh, and tell everybody something that I forgot to mention in the introduction that's kind of exciting. Uh, our next live event is actually going to be on Instagram, everybody. So we're going to hop over to Instagram in a couple of weeks after the new year um, on Thursday, January 7th at 12 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and we're going to do Instagram Live. So for those of you who are not already following Silver Brush on Instagram, it's the same uh, call letters as we are here on Facebook, Silver Brush LTD for Silver Brush Limited on Instagram. Um, so please check us out over there. We're excited. And if I can figure out the technology with Kira's help, we'll simulcast that here on Facebook. But uh, I don't know if we have enough time between now and then to figure that out. Okay, um, so I also wanted to share with you something really wonderful. Um, I just got in the mail today a, a lo lovely little brochure from a wonderful customer of ours out in St. Paul, Minnesota. Their name is Wet Paint, 
and um, I'm thoroughly excited. They did a great job on that cover, didn't they? And um, the brushes that they are featuring in here, the only brushes they're featuring are our black velvet. And uh, they're running a wonderful promotion. Uh, and you can always give them a call, and they are open and they are delivering. And the name of the company, again, is Wet Paint. And we're very proud that they put us in here. And um, we're one of the featured uh, brushes that they have in their store. So let's get right to work. So we all have an, different budgets. You know, we, we all say, oh, I can afford this, I can't afford that. But I really like to paint. I really enjoy it. So maybe what we should do is show you all different kinds of priced product that will work very nicely in watercolor. One's going to be more absorbent than the other. You know, that's the way it is. You know, sometimes you really do pay for uh, different values in, uh, in the brushes. But the main thing is, is that when you buy one of our brushes, you know, you're basically going to have a very, very good painting experience. So I thought, well, I thought we'd start with the crystal. Now, I'm starting with the crystal. It's a, this is our angular crystal. And um, this is a very, very nice, um, less expensive, value-oriented, uh, pure golden tacklon. So you would use uh, crystal in watercolors. You use it in acrylics. You would use it in watercolor and acrylics. I would not recommend this for oils. But you're going to see that this is going to hold a very nice batch of color. This is watercolors that I'm using. I also have today, I have uh, wash and I have ink and uh, I have uh, the walnut ink as well. So this is watercolor and you can see that it's, it's doing a very nice job. Not quite as absorbent as, um, of course it's never going to be as absorbent as golden natural, but yet it, it's a very, very nice uh, feel to it. Very nice, very smooth and a very, very nice feeling. So that's, that's one of our crystal, that's a less expensive series than uh, many other series. One of the things you might like is the look of the brush, uh, certainly the price of the brush because the price is very, very reasonable. And depending on your pocket, what's in your pocket, you know what you can afford. But if you're starting off, when, so when you buy a silver brush, you're starting at, at a higher level than you would a lot of other companies. So we don't have anything at the bottom. We, many years ago, we used to have um, bottom rung merchandise. We, we no longer have that. So this is going to be on a very high plateau compared to our competition. But for us, it's our very lowest. So what does that mean? It means the price is very, very reasonable. Um, is, is it the best thing in the world? No. Is it going to last forever? No. But you know what? It is, if you're, it's very practical. I think that's the best way to describe it. And so that's, that's our crystal. We also have it in many different shapes. So would you say crystal would be an ideal brush for a beginner? Well, you know what? It, it's, if you're not putting your two feet in and you're only putting, you know, a toe in, maybe it is the best one. That way they can get started and get, do something reasonable, have a nice project, do a very nice project, and have a very nice experience. And then they say, well, wait a minute, I really, really like this, but my teacher doesn't use this brush. They use, they use a silver white, or they use a um, black velvet, or they use the golden natural. Maybe I'll move up next time when I have a little bit more money. And, and that's fine. You know, it, you, you've got to start somewhere and we just thought that, you know, I just thought I'd show you that this is a very, very fine series. And of course we sell a lot of them. A question and I just liked, um, can I use watercolor brushes for gouache? Of course. As a matter of fact, let's show you that. This is gouache over here. I have a little yellow gouache. And this is gouache. Gouache is, is simply watercolor, opaque watercolor. That's all it is. So when you, when you get a, a see-through effect, like you know, some of these areas over here that Earlene Paget painted, um, that's a watercolor base. But you'll see that with gouache, it actually has much more of an opacity. And yes, you absolutely can paint watercolor <coughs> brushes in, um, in gouache, absolutely. It's, it's just fine for that. So you can see that we're starting very low, and this is our... Um, crystal series, and when you look around, uh, you'll see that it's very, very reasonably priced. 
The next one I'm going to show you, which is really a humdinger of a brush. Um, we just love these brushes, I really do. This is our new, uh, this is silver white. Silver white is going to be extremely long lasting, extremely durable. Triple epoxy barrier within the ferrule. What does that mean? That means that, well, epoxy is basically glue. So what we do is we glue the head into, into the ferrule, and you can see it's also crimped, so it's never going to come out. Then there's more glue over here, and then on top of the handle there's more glue. Now why is that? Because everybody, even though I tell people to let the brush dry flat or with the head down, everybody goes like that. So, so you did that. So maybe you can explain why <coughs> it's acceptable for the brush lady to do this, but not other people. Because this has no moisture in it. Okay. This has no moisture. So once your brushes are dry, then it's okay to have them head Absolutely. up. But while they're moist, or certainly when they're wet, right. not, not head up. Not to do that. It needs That's to be exactly flat right. or face or down. So you, you see a lot of white tackle on brushes on the market, and you're saying, well, what's the big deal? Why, why is silver brushes any better than anyone else? I'll show you the, the reason why. Because when you want resiliency and you want moisture to stay on the filament, you need this. What my competition does very often times, and it's much, much less expensive, is to have all the filament exactly the same size. Now, if I've told you this before, I've been re repeating myself, but it does bear repeating. This is not a good brush. So what's going to happen is this. When you put moisture in the filament, if it wasn't, um, if, if it wasn't like this, all the moisture would flow right out of the head. But because I believe in making it a, a perfect brush. We use different size filaments in, in each one of the, uh, the uh, heads. So that means that you have all that friction. It's all different sizes. So nothing is rubbing the same. Everything is rubbing different. So you get great holding capacity. And the other thing that we do is we make sure that the chisel edge always goes back to its same chisel edge. You're paying for a bunch of things when you buy a brush. You pay for the edge. You pay for what's inside the filament. You pay for what's inside the ferrule and making sure it's a nickel-plated brass ferrule. As opposed to what? As opposed to aluminum. What's the difference? Aluminum is extremely soft. It's going to bend, and it's also going to corrode. So you don't, you don't want aluminum. So now, all, our, all of our brushes are nickel-plated brass ferrules? Yes, they are. Many years ago, we had a line of um, inexpensive camel hair brushes, and they were on aluminum, and they just didn't represent silver brush, so we, we actually don't have them any longer. So even though this is purple, I decided to use ink. This is ink, and look how beautifully that's holding color. And it's, it's ink. It's not, it's not even paint, which is a much, much lighter... Uh, basically, it's colored water is, is really what it is, and it's holding the color just beautifully. Uh, what I love about this is, do you see there's no puddling? So uh, let me put more water on it. Let me put more uh, ink on it and show you that we're not having any puddling. You see, I put, I put that down on the surface, and there's no puddling. You can't see any puddling. And that's something that's extremely valuable to you. And believe it or not, it's, it's one of the basic rules that all brush makers should, should know, and yet many do not. And it, this is something I cannot stress enough, the fact that we do make sure that all of our brushes have multi, multiple diameters. Now, it works very, very nicely in ink, and then I'm gonna show you the walnut ink also. This is the so I noticed that the filament is staining. Yes, it is. Does that matter? Does it impact the performance of the brush? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. This is, uh, this is the walnut ink. And um, this is a very interesting medium. I just learned about walnut ink. Um, what you certainly can do is take those sepia-colored photographs that you have at home, and if they need retouching, obviously, this is what you would want to eat what you'd want to use. Now I would definitely use a silver white brush because that's going to hold the color and because it's not going to drip and it's not going to leave puddles, you don't want to leave a drip or a puddle anywhere in a photograph. 
And you certainly don't want to have that in an illustration that you might want to do or anything like that. Can you use this also for poster paint? Yes, you can. You absolutely can use it for poster paint. It's a very, very good brush. It's a very high quality. And I have to tell you, these brushes get a lot of beating and they still, they still keep on ticking. Now, I can take a little bit of alcohol and get that pigment out or a little bit of soap and it'll, it'll certainly lighten up. But what, what kind of alcohol? Um, just like uh, regular stuff that you can buy in a, in a pharmacy. Store, yeah, in like pharmacy. isopropyl alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. But, you know, I, I'm probably not going to do that because I'm like you. I, I don't feel like cleaning my brushes as well as I really should. Well, and again, if it's not going to impact the performance, the, but, you know, some people just don't like the look. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, and it, and it is the way it is. But I, I have to tell you, I just put um, this angular into the line. It's due in, I think, at first quarter. Next. So that's new. It doesn't even yeah. have the, the imprint right. on it Right. You yet, see, these are just prototypes. prototypes. So we're going to get this in January or February. And this, too, I'm very excited because you're going to get wonderful paint uh, drawdowns with this. And this is, uh, I use gouache. So we've used it in ink. We've used it in walnut ink. We've used it in watercolor, I think. And now this is the gouache. Look how beautifully that holds the color, moves it all over the surface. And what I like about the, the angle is that you get really nice lines. Look at that, really nice lines. So, you know, it's, it's a very versatile brush. Uh, and one of the things that, that everybody loves to do with angles is do double load. So I'm going to show you a little bit of double load. And notice how nicely it keeps holding the color. So I would have to refill re it and put some more in. But if you're looking for a really good quality brush that's very economical, I would look for silver white. What I thought I'd treat you to see and There's is, a lot of different shapes there. Oh, a lot of different shapes. But I thought I'd also show you what we've been working on the last couple of years. And this is the new front header card. So when you walk into your retail store, your brick and mortar store like Wet Paint up in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, or Guyries or Azels or Jerry's or... So Guyries in Denver or Azels in, in, in uh, well, Dallas in uh, Texas. among many cities right. in Texas. Jerry's Autorama, Art, Artist all Craftsman. The, all uh, they're look, all over the look U.S. Look for our beautiful new header cards. These are, these are on each one of the fronts of the um, displays. I'll show you a bunch of other ones as well. And all of them have artwork that was done with our brushes. So uh, let me see if I have this one. This one says, Painting by Dave Santanellis. All right, so he does beautiful, beautiful work. You can see that. And this, this one is for, for Crystal. This has also recently been redone. And I just thought you'd like to see that as well. This is a wonderful piece, isn't it? She's a, 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 a darling person. Her name is uh, Celia Buchanan, and she does great stuff. Look at the great uh, boots she did in with Crystal. And then you can see that at your retailer as well. Um, so our, our silver white is, as I said, it's very long lasting, it's very durable. And I, I really feel very, very strongly about this brush. It's one of the first brushes that I put in the line and I really wanted a superior quality white tack on because there are so many out there and you know they're deceiving they really are they're very deceiving they look nice and then they go flat they don't hold their point um, you know you you really feel sometimes wow I'm really not getting my money's worth from this particular brush but one, one of the things I really try and do is make sure that each and every single brush is superior to anything else that's on the market and it, this silver white is just going to keep on ticking. It's, it's just a hard-working brush, and it's one of those brushes that, you know, we see botanical illustrators use, we see floral illustrators use. So we had a question about that. What's the best brush for painting f uh, flowers? <clears throat> we have many brushes that paint flowers. And, you know, you have to speak to different artists. If you ask um, a superior uh, flower painter like Arlene Paget, she uses basically black velvet on all her flowers. Which we're going to get to. I know we've had a lot of questions about black velvet and how it compares to some of these other ones. We'll get to black velvet in a little bit so that you can explain that. Mm -hmm. One of the things also that you're going to notice is that it's a nice fat 
middle over here. This is, this is a size 12, this is a bigger size, and notice how fat it is in the middle. That means it's gonna hold that much more moisture. And because of the di different di diameters on the filament, it's gonna stay right in there. So let me put in, um, oh, I'll put in, this is um, ink. I'll go back to the ink. Right, you've gotta to get to some other lines here too. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. But I, I'm just in love with this particular series. I know that uh, you will be as well. And one of the other things you're going to really like a lot is the price. The price is really right. It really is. So I'm going to keep this flat until I'm, I cleaned it. These are dry. And I'll put them back in my little brush caddy. And now we will move on to the next one. Why don't you go to Ultra Mini? That's, if that's just okay. what I was going to do. Okay, we had a question about what to do for painting miniatures. Well, we have an entire line. I, I see I didn't get all of my Ultra Minis here. It could be somebody else is demoing with them. But our Ultra Mini, I designed many, I have many, a set here, actually. Oh, good. I can show you. I'm just going to walk backwards, people. Sorry. Here. Oh, there you go. This that. is the new packaging. Uh, this was uh, artwork that was given sets. to us by Peggy Harris. Um, she's a magnificent um, animal painter. And um, these are all her little little um, adorable little just birds and, and bats and all this other stuff. This is one of our sets. And um, you can see all the different shapes in here. Very miniature head with a very nice comfort grip handle. That's the important thing about Ultra Mini. You really want to have it a, a very comfortable handle so that um, you can paint all day with it. That's one of the things I love. What I love about this, this one we call Design Around, in other series we call this the Ultra Round. Notice that real long, long length out. That's going to hold a huge amount of color and you'll be able to get a very, very long line with that. So I'm going to wet that up. This is 100% synthetic fiber, so you would be able to use this with um, any, anything that's a water base. If you want to use it in an oil-based paint, you're going to have to make sure you clean it up with an odorless solvent. So this is our Ultra Mini. This is a superior quality. Again, we do multiple diameter uh, filament in this, so you have maximum holding capacity. It sounds very simple, but it happens to be something very serious that we take very, very seriously. Um, notice we get those very, very fine lines. If I knew how to paint, it would be really exciting. Um, but you get these very, very fine lines with this brush, and that's one of the things I love about this extra uh, length out. Um, one of the uh, Ultra Mini sets has um, a, a full range of this um, design around shape, and um, we also have that in one of the Peggy Harris sets uh, that we do for her as well. Well, and you're going to so, get to that here with the Golden Natural. Yes, up. I am going to show that as well. But this is this is look look at that. Oh, I just love that. Look at this. It's going and going and going. You've impressed yourself. I have impressed myself. <laughs> I just love that series. And this is a little liner. Uh, this is, you know, basically people use liners for um, signature. They can put their name down. Uh, so, you know, it, it's something that, again, it, the longer the length out, the more paint it's going to hold. The shorter the length out, the less control you have on it. That's what's very, very important about that. And this is... So are you, just so we're clear, the, the shorter the length, the more control the but the control. less color it will hold. Exactly. Okay, just so we're clear. Did okay. I say that right? I'm, I'm hoping this Well, right. just making sure we get it clear okay. for everybody. Okay. So that's the silver white. That's the Ultra Mini. And we also showed you the, the crystal. So we have to show you for watercolors. Now the Pistura Distance. This is our um, Golden Natural Series. Uh, this was recently um, redone. This is the old look. This is the old look for the Golden Natural. Let me show you that. That's the old look, and this is the new look. And one of the things you can see now is the natural hair that's actually in the filament. So this is gonna hold a huge amount of color, and um, it's, I'm gonna prove it to you in a minute. Now these are completely dry. I haven't used these at all today. And um, let's see that. You know, and what do you have there? What shape and what size? This is a round and it's a size 12, but look at that okay. fat belly. You see that fat belly and that nice sharp point? Uh, I, by the way, I demo with these all the time. It's not like they're not abused. They are. And I'm not very nice to my brushes. I figure, well, I can always go get another one. I don't clean them as well as I should. I, I don't leave them in fluid. I know enough not to do that. But I know I could take better care of them. 
but you, you'll do a better job than me, right? You'll all do a better job than me cleaning up your brushes. <laughs> so here you have a maximum holding capacity golden natural series. This, this series has a very large amount of natural hair and it has a very nice amount of superior golden tacklon. So let me make sure you understand that. So we have natural hair in it, and this is the representation of natural hair, and this is the, the superior synthetic filament. So you get maximum holding capacity with the synthetic because you have multi-diameter. Very important words I'm saying to you. And then you have the natural hair. Why is natural hair good? Because number one, it has a hollow core in the middle, and it also has fo little follicles on the outside. So that's the benefit of it. And of course, this is natural because, and it's completely absorbent. So you get fluid inside the natural hair and the follicles, all holding color on the filament itself. So you've got a combination of multiple diameter filaments in the synthetic and the animal hair, and that's why this is a superior, a superior brush that's on the market. And I would like to show you, uh, this has a new front as well, and I thought this was really fun. Look at that. That's the new front for the Golden Natural. So you get a chance to see that as well. So when you walk into your reseller, you can ask for the Golden Natural, and I'm sure if they don't have it in, they'll get it in stock for you, and you can make a special order for them. Um, we also are coming out with a number of beautiful um, brush sets. We're coming out with a number of beautiful brush sets, and um, you'll be able to buy them in set form as well. Okay? Now, let me show you how it beautifully it carries color. I think I'll use, um, I'll use gouache because I think, well, I'm using yellow, but I really shouldn't. I should be using something a bit darker so that um, you can get to see it. Um, now look how much deeper the color is than some of the others. This is, this is the crystal, silver white, and look at that with, with golden natural. That's how absorbent this is. And you're saying, well, maybe she put on more color than the other. I put on exactly the same amount. But look how much more color this holds than this, than this and some of the others. That's what I want to make sure you understand. It's going to be a little bit more money, that's for sure. But let me tell you, you're going to have this a lifetime. You know, people really need to understand that the better your tools are, the better the painting experience. I'm sure if you went into a store and you, you were looking at different things and you say, well, this is $2 more, or this is $3 more, but it's, then it's going to be for a number of years. You're going to be able to keep it for a number of years. I mean, isn't that worth the effort, not having to go out and buy it again over and over and over again? The most expensive arts brush in the market is $1.99. Yeah, it's really very inexpensive, but you've got to keep on rebuying it and rebuying it and rebuying it. By the time you're done and you finish with a painting, you might have spent $20 on those brushes because you have to keep on buying new ones. Buy this one initially for $14 or $15. It's going to take you not just for the one painting, it's going to last a lifetime. So, I mean, it, this is just, look how much paint that's holding. I have to get it all out of there. I'm going to use a little bit, this is also gouache, so you get to see a little bit of a different color. And again, just show you how much that it, it holds. It is so absorbent. It is so superior. You could even use this, if you'd like, for silk painting, which is just basically colored water. And you could even use it for dyes. Uh, and you, sorry, I, I'd be happy to show you with ink again. I have the ink right over here. Unfortunately, everything seems to be purple today. Although I know a lot of people love purple. I'll tell you what, I'll put it in the um, walnut ink. That's different. So this is also gonna hold a huge amount of color. Now look at the walnut ink that I used for silver white, and look how much more I'm holding with, with a golden natural. You see the difference? You see how much more it covers? You see how deeper the color is? And that it, it, it just gives you a really good bird's eye view of the difference in the two series. Now, 
We're going up in scale in terms of price. I just want you to understand that. But you also have a huge amount of variety here at Silver Brush. Are you watering down the gouache or is that straight from the tube? This is actually, this isn't gouache, this is actually walnut ink. This, this is, is the walnut ink, this, right. this is straight from the jar I have over here. That's straight from the jar. Right. And that, and that is golden natural. Golden natural is a superior being, it truly is. And uh, we, we absolutely love it. Uh, it's going to last forever. One of the things I'd like to introduce to you, we're coming out with two new shapes. Uh, this is the dagger striper. And we also have our um, quill. We have a quill that we're going to come out with. And the quill is going to be one of these thirsty little brushes that's going to hold a huge amount of color. And you'll be able to do all kinds of very interesting painting. And it's going to be different from other quills that are on the market because there are synthetics and um, there is squirrel hair. But this is much more maneuverable than squirrel hair. Squirrel hair, sometimes you can't get to do what you want it to do. You will be able to do that with this. Lisa King just checked in Hi, in Lisa Ontario King. in Canada. Hi. Hello there. Hi. And for everyone in Canada, if you go to their website, um, King's, I think she just posted the link, actually. Good. Uh, they ship, you know, all around Canada, obviously. So there we are with our quill. Notice how much color this is putting on the surface. It's putting a huge amount of color on the surface. And this is our brand new, not even in stock yet, uh, Golden Natural Quill, which we will have very, very shortly. Uh, we're gonna have this in three sizes. And again, you can see all that natural hair that's in there. Now that we re re styled it, look at all that color it's going to hold. So those of you that like to paint in watercolor and like to hold a lot of color this is a perfect brush for you. Would you use, uh, and we've got to wrap up Golden Natural and move on, but right. um, we've always, for calligraphy, we've always had folks using black velvet. Would you recommend Golden Natural absolutely. as well? Absolutely. Yeah. I would absolutely use it, and I'll even show you the brush. So Golden Natural as well for, for calligraphy. Sure, I'll show you the brush that would work very well, very well for calligraphy. This is, um, this is the old look. Uh, I don't see any of the new look. Um, this is a uh, shader, which is basically a long, uh, bright, a little more like a flat. And uh, it, we do have this in the new look. I just don't have the uh, That's okay. new handle yeah. here. And I would absolutely use this for, um, for calligraphy. Great. Here. Oh, here we go. Make that the one. <laughs> Forgive me for making it upside down for you. Well, it's an M. It's an M for you. <laughs> w for me. Okay. But this, this is wonderful for calligraphy. It's going to hold a huge amount of color. And, you know, you also, depending on what you're using, if you're doing it in acrylics, if you're doing it in watercolor, you can even use golden natural and oil color and clean it up with an odorless solvent. Odorless solvent will not harm the synthetic filament. The only thing that hurts synthetic filament is turpentine. Use turpentine, I can't guarantee anything, okay? All right, moving on. Moving on. He's pushing me along. Okay, these are my golden natural. Um, I am going to sh spend a little bit of time talking about our red sable series. Yep. Uh, red, red sables are 100% animal hair. This is our Renaissance series. Um, these are superior, pure red sable. We have them in both short handle, long handle too. Again, we have the follicles on the outside. You have a hollow tube on the inside. And we have, uh, this is where the absorbent outer, outer coat from the uh, center. And what I want to show you is these have been beaten up for a very long time. And what's really nice is the beautiful belly it's going to have for a lifetime. And there you have it. You have a beautiful belly. And of course, this is going to hold 10 times more color than a synthetic filament because you have all of that absorbency. So let's do this and show you how well it covers the surface. Look how nicely that covers the surface. Here is Golden Natural. Here is um, Rena Renaissance. Now we have Renaissance. It's been in our line for many, many years since the very beginning when we started. And we have it in very interesting shapes. So here we have it in a round, 
Notice how beautiful that big fat belly is? But it comes to a point. Someone was asking if the uh, red samples come to a point. It always will. If it's a silver brush, it'll always come to a point because that's a natural tip. No, no cutting at our tips. That's very, very important for you to know. All right? Here it is. It, it's always going to come to a tip. Uh, we also have a cat's tongue in this series. And let's see. So we also we have the cat's tongue, and you're going to get very interesting drawdown with that as well. Notice how thick the color is. The color is thick because it's holding so much. Get a little bit of puddle over there. See that? It, it holds so much color, and these brushes are years old. These aren't days old. These are years old. I've been using Renaissance for many, many years, and they're going to continue holding their shape, and they're going to continue holding the color for years and years to come. Um, let me move on, and this is this is a 7500. This is a less expensive pure red sable, also years old, and um, we'll put a little bit of color over there. Trying to change the color a little bit. And again, you get a nice big fat belly with a wonderful point. And this is a pure red sable brush. Much less expensive than the Renaissance. This is our 7500. And there you go. So, you know, that's another series. It's a little bit upscale. It's going to cost more money for these, for the Renaissance. Certainly more than some of the synthetic hairs that you see. But we have that brush for you. Whatever it is you need, or whatever it is you want, we have that brush for you. Now, um, I'm going to uh, just get a clean surface. We have um, the Renaissance. I'd like to show the Renaissance Cartero. We're going to move on to black velvet now because you're running out of time. Oh, well, let me just, let me just show that. Okay, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so this is the Renaissance <laughs> front header card, okay? So when you go into the store, ask your store about uh, that. Okay. Uh, I'm now I'm going to talk about black velvet because I know a lot of people are waiting for that. Uh, we sell a great deal of black velvet every single day, every single, well, throughout the year. This is a combination of black Kazan squirrel and a synthetic fiber. And the synthetic fiber gives you that snap. Notice how it came right back? If it was 100% squirrel, it wouldn't do that. See how it comes back? That's one of the amazing things about this brush. So you get this wonderful snap. This is an original series. And you, get, you have a lot of hold. So in terms of moisture holding, I love the Golden Natural because that's very controlling and it holds a huge amount of color. If you prefer to paint very loose and you like to hold the, the brush and you want it to have a lot of color in it, then Black Velvet's for you. So let me do that. I would like to get the header. It's behind you, Warren. And um, this is the new header card. So when you go into those great stores that are out there, all those uh, brick and mortar stores that you go into, look for our artwork right there in the store. OK? Um, so let's look at, so we have so many different kind of artists that use these brushes. Um, Susan Louise Moyer uses it in dye. Uh, we have people that use it in, this is ink. Uh, of course, it's used in any kind of watercolor, every kind of watercolor. Arlene Paget uses it in watercolor for her beautiful paintings. And you can see what a real talent she is. Um, she really knows how to move the, the brush all over the surface. And, you know, what happens with black velvet, it, it's just going to last a lifetime, and it's just going to continue holding the color. Will it always come back to this point? I hope so. But, you know, some people are not as nice to their brushes as they really should be. So, uh, you know, you have to make sure you do take care of it. I was just painting a little bit with this brush. This is a very nice size of round. This is a size 16. And as a matter of fact, the black velvet now go up to uh, and includes a size 20, which is a very large brush. What makes this different? What makes this different from any look-alike or blade brush that's out there.
Number one, I engineered it many years ago to have this very, very fat belly. You see that fat belly? That's very, very important because that's where all the moisture is. Then an extra long length out tip so that when you're using the brush in color, and of course that's what you're going to use it in watercolor, you can use it in wash, you can use it in inks, dyes, whatever it is you're going to do, and you want to get into that little area. Again, if I had some talent, this would look lovely, but I don't have any talent. I just know a lot about artist brushes. But notice how it, you can get that in. Look at that big, big brush like that. You can get it to go into such a small little area. And it's holding a huge amount of color, so I'll be able to paint with this for a very, very long time. And I'm getting into all that color, so let me fill this in over here. And again, let's get that color out there. Notice how much it holds. So when you have esteemed artists like um, Sun Yi Warren, you have um, so many other magnificent watercolorists, and the only br brush they're using is black velvet. There's a reason for it. It's because it's a superior product. And it be remember what I said, it's a combination of a synthetic filament and black Kazan swirl. So you have the combination of multi-diameter filaments as well as the animal hair. And the animal hair, again, it has follicles on the edge and the hollow tube in the center. That holds a huge amount of color. But the flaw in 100% squirrel hair brushes is that it lays flat. Because of the synthetic hair, you always have that bounce, and it always will go back to its original shape. Now, this brush is not new. This, is, this brush has been demoed with for a very long time, and notice how nicely it continues to keep on working. Now, we have had people that said, you know, something happened. You know, they, they weren't necessarily thrilled with it. You know, I'd be surprised if you have any kind of product problem with it. Remember, it's extremely important never to leave a brush in moisture for any length of time. If you do that, all this work that we've put into the ferrule, all the uh, epoxy or the glue that's in the ferrule, it doesn't matter. You're still going to get cracking on the handle if you leave it in moisture. Even if, you, if I left it like this, you know, if I left it in there for any kind of period of time, I cannot guarantee that the moisture isn't going to get into the handle. So be careful. Be nice to your brushes. One of the things we've talked about a number of times is when you want your brushes to go back to their original shape and the original head, put it in boiling hot water, which is what this is. I'm putting a little bit of silver white in there, and I'm going to put the black velvet in there as well. You just clean it out and get it to go back to its original shape. No, notice all that moisture that's in there. Uh, I'll put it, this is gouache. This is gouache. So I'm going to put that in gouache. And notice how much it holds. This is uh, an all day thing. You will be able to get this to work for you like this. Now we can do it also with that particular technique. You can also do that with, with this wonderful quill from uh, Golden Natural. Very similar feel. See how much it holds? A lot of color. So in terms of watercolor, we've got brushes that are really the finest, and it will hold a huge amount of, of quantity of, of moisture. You see that we've got Kira. Kira, come say hi. Say hi. Hi, everybody. She's Thanks our for joining us social media guru and uh now she's got the winners everyone the knows when kira comes in the room that means everybody it's time to give away free brushes everybody. everyone loves kira everybody should love kira <laughs> thank you kira thank you kira all right so you know if you ask me what what it is that you like the you know black belt is going to be more expensive than the golden natural that's what i want to say so you know and what's the difference in the two in the performance well, what do you see? I see them as very, very similar. I really do. I see that Golden Natural holds a huge amount of color. <coughs> Excuse me. Golden Nat Natural is going to be more controlling. You'll be able to get inside the lines a little bit better. And silver white and silver and black velvet is going to hold an awful lot of moisture. It's personal preference is what it is. All right? And I know okay. you want to do the contest. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we've got here. Thank We're you on very the fly. Much.
got these two. Uh, okay, great. Hi, we're back. Thanks, everybody. Great questions, great interaction. Lots and lots of folks from all around. We had, uh, I'm going to forget many of you, but just to, to name off a few of the locations where you're all checking in from today, we had uh, Arkansas, we had um, Qatar, um, India and the Philippines, of course. You guys always uh, come very Thank strong you. for these. Thank you all. Uh, Poland. Um, gosh, I'm blanking on some, but there were so many different areas. So thank you all. Oregon, I remember, here in the U.S. Uh, Ontario, of course, in Canada. Um, so thank you all. We've got two winners today, uh, both in the United States this time. That's a rarity. Uh, the first one is the Silver White set. This is Priya Natarajan in Texas. Congratulations, Priya. The Silver White set is on its way to you. And then Daniel Sandoval in California wins the Golden Natural set. So congratulations, Daniel. We'll pack this up for you, of course. So congratulations to both of you. And um, thank you all very much. I'm going to remind you once again that uh, next month, next year, 2021, in January, we are going to test out uh, with Instagram. So Instagram Live on January 7th, Thursday, January 7th at 12 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Uh, we will be doing Silver Brush on Instagram Live. So please join us there at Silver Brush LTD on Instagram. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. Um, do we have a topic yet for January 7th or we're still figuring it out? You let us know what you'd like to hear. That's a great okay? idea. Uh, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas, a very happy and a healthy New Year. Stay safe. I'm happy to say that here in the United States, we, uh, our health care workers are getting vaccines. So that means that it should be getting to us, very, us civilians, in a, hopefully in a short order. I wish you a very healthy New Year. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Take care.